guys, it's YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Vlogmas. Today is day 22 of Vlogmas. I wanted to show you guys my newly thrifted Gucci shoes for $10. I cannot believe it that I got these. That'll all be up in a later uh, later thriftness video. Um, maybe tomorrow thriftness video. Maybe it'll be the one when you see this video. I think I'll do it. So I'll have it linked um, right up there if you guys want to check it out. But it was this morning's thriftness video is when I got these shoes. I'll make sure that it goes up to like the same day as this vlog. Um, but yeah, so I'm in the car now. I have a very important package that I have to mail out. So this is gonna go out. Caroline, if you're watching, I'm getting your, <laughs> I'm getting this out to you ASAP. I'm very excited. Also, happy birthday. Um, what else? Uh, so, I'm starting the vlog a little bit later on today. It's already 107, and it's a nice 84 degrees. Which is crazy. It is really warm today for some reason. Like, today is 84 degrees. Yesterday was like 83. Um, and then before that, it's only been in like the 70s, high 60s, and then it just, you know, like Winter decided to give us two nice warm days, so I'm very appreciative, very happy about it um, The weather is fantastic today, and uh, I'm gonna try and get as many errands done today as possible that I need to get done So that way the rest of the week will be just smooth sailing. I won't have to leave the house, and it'll just be beautiful and awesome. So Kay's birthday is in two days. I'm gonna pick up his birthday present right now, which is one of the primary reasons why I'm leaving, and also to go to the post office. Um, and then I'm getting a couple other things too for the kids as well, for um, like little stocking stuffers that I just wanted to pick up. Since I'm already gonna go to Kay to pick up Kay's present, I'm gonna pick up a couple things there too. And I also need to go to Target because I wanted to get my dad some stuff for his Christmas present that I wanted to add in. And then um, I really want to get some dry shampoo. <laughs> I love dry shampoo so much. If you guys don't already know that, I think it's fantastic. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna head out and go run some errands. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, just got to the post office. I just got to Best Buy. Um, oh my gosh, my window is dirty. There's also a line, so I'm gonna run in there right now. I'll run to the line. <laughs> Imagine I just like run inside and cut through the line. All right, you guys, so I didn't bring you guys in there with me, but I knew it was gonna be crazy, and I just wanted to go in and get out really quickly because the line was long. But I got the game i secured the package so excited um yeah at first like i was worried because i didn't see it anywhere it wasn't on the floor i went to the register where the other games were held and the guy was like kind of confused as to what it was and then he looked it up and he went to go check in the back and it was there so very excited to get this i got um some itunes gift cards too which is cool apparently these are new, like the cards are new, so that's interesting. And then I got Minecraft gift cards for the boys, but unfortunately they don't let you keep the actual physical card at the store. It's like all digital, so I just get an email, so I guess I'm just gonna print it out and put them into like some sort of card or something. So that's the update with Best Buy. Uh, I think right now I'm gonna go to Target. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Target now, just across the street. And then after that, um, I'm gonna run some more errands. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, you guys, we just got to Target. My camera was like freaking out, and I think it deleted the last few clips because I was looking through it. So, um, it deleted them. But yeah, right now I'm at Target, and we're gonna try and find some stuff for Dad, maybe. I'm thinking he's like some new pajama bottoms or something. And then, uh, I want to get my dry shampoo, so. Let's go check it out. I wonder if they have any sales. Everything's kind of like a mess. Okay, the my camera is like acting up. I don't know what's wrong with it. But um looking at more. These are like look really comfy, right? I think it's 30% off. Alright, I found these gray ones. I think I'm gonna get these for dad. I wish they had them in the blue. Gosh, they have a giant Vulpix. How cute. Okay, do they have any like cool pop figurines? Mm, none that I see. They have that one Billie Eilish figurine that 
wasn't as popular as the doll. I can't believe they do actually have this Mario Kart game here. They just got it, probably because I was searching last night and they did not have it last night. But, um, yeah, anyway. It's all good because I already got it. So it's literally like, there's like no more toys here. <laughs> But I mean, it is a few days before Christmas, but they have this really cute Pokemon walkie-talkie set with Pikachu. That's kind of fun. They have these little robot things, too. They have nothing left here in the decorations, you guys. Like, everything is gone. That is crazy. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they barely have anything left. My chair! Love my chair. But I wanted to find that gift wrapping cutting thing. Which I don't see here. No! Guys, they have my dry shampoo. I'm so excited. Alright, just left the store. Alright, we just got to Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm just gonna run inside. I don't think I'm gonna take you guys, but I'll show you guys what I got afterwards. Alright, you guys, we are back in the car and got this goods. I pretty much just got um, these Yeti straws. I ordered the handles online because unfortunately they don't actually carry them in the store. So uh, I ordered them online and those should hopefully be coming tomorrow. I'm, I don't know, like it last minute stuff uh so i got those for everyone because i got last year i got everyone yeti cups for christmas and now i'm upgrading everyone's cups with the handles and the straw so i thought that was a cute idea um but yeah right now we're gonna head over to one more target because i'm looking for something it's like this um gift wrapping thing and then uh we're gonna head over to maybe veterans thrift so i'll see you guys in a second all right you guys one more target Let's go check it out. Okay, I can't find this thing anywhere. But it's probably in the gift wrapping section because it's not in the regular section. Guys, I found it! I'm so excited! It was all the way over here. Alright, let's see what I can find here in the clothing section of this store. The toy section here has a lot more toys left than the one by my house. And there's so... Like, there's like... A fraction of the amount of people, like one fourth of the amount. Oh, they have more shirts here too. Let's check these out. Any cool shirts? Guys, I found them. Okay, so I'm gonna get them a pair of these blue ones and then maybe these black ones too. All right, got the goods. Go back to the car. All right, you guys, I just got to the Veterans Thrift, but I think I'm gonna make this a Thrift Miss episode. So it's gonna go up later on this week. But right now I'm gonna head inside and check it out. Um, and I didn't see a line to get in, which is awesome. So hopefully they saw some good stuff inside. I don't know, but I did want to do some last minute Christmas thrifting. So let's see what we can find. <laughs> I <laughs> so I just got home and my mom and my sister are telling me the story about how they went to Kohl's and my mom used to have a Kohl's card but apparently if you don't use it after a year it stops working and you have to like reapply and mom just really wanted an extra 35% off discount so then she applied we again got, We got the 25% already but then the lady said Is I it an extra 35 or an extra 10? 35 yeah, she got an extra 10% so he said, oh, so you, so, so if you love this thing, it was at the computer, right? And I thought, I thought if I say, you know, the Inca, it will have a, a comma or something, and it doesn't do it, and I said, I keep trying to, I think it's zero, zero. and I think it's zero, and then the lady, I was like, yeah, I think I put 400 billion, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so crazy. We were laughing so And the lady bless her heart. She had like the best patience in the whole entire world I've ever seen. Right, Mom? She was so nice. The lady was so Heather, you were super nice. I remember your name because you were so sweet. I hope Heather watches this video. 
Heather, if you work at Kohl's. It's so funny. I said, yes, ma'am. I think it's so many zeros. And Heather's like, I know, ma'am. And I was wondering. It was like five gazillion dollars. I think zero. Like, at first, she, it seemed like it was right, and then she was all, this is this is this is like, The comma? Yes, the comma is okay. And the dad was there. I was like, I can put. I just gotta keep pressing the zeros until it shows up. I don't know. Well, I was like, well, where are those commas? I don't see them. I told her. She was, and then, and then I was like, maybe you're manifesting, like, having that much money, like, getting that much money. She's like, oh my gosh, let's check the lotto. <laughs> Line and I was like looking up the lot of numbers. Oh my god. I can't. We, we partially felt like it was, it was gonna happen because mom just, you know. It was so funny. It was like crazy. I just wanna let you know I am not a millionaire <laughs> yet. <laughs> Wait, what are you making? Fish? <gasps> Ooh, that is a big fish. It's your favorite fish. Yum. Okay, so our neighbors gave us the soup for um like a little holiday gift, and it's Kin Kin Jabang Noodle Co. And apparently this is like some like dance Asian dance scoop, or I don't even know exactly what it is. Something. <laughs> and they made this soup, and we're gonna try. Oh, mom, but it's like individual. Kinja, what? Mom, they're individual like this. Kinja bong, spicy noodles. Spicy noodles, no preservative, not fried, air dried. How do you cook it? I think it's just like in the microwave. So it's just like noodles. Yeah. yeah. Add water. Add water to the. Eliza, you look very interested in this noodle. It's not soup, it's like noodles. Oh, uh, this is different than what I thought I was going to be. Yeah. You drain the water and stuff. Yes, so it's just it is. Maybe I'm not going to have this tonight. Maybe I'll save this for another night. Whoops. All right, you guys. I'm going to show you how I make our um, apple cider. So mom already made the apple cider here. And that is the Williams Sonoma Mulling Spices in there. I just make it according to how they do it. And then in the cup, I'm going to put in some... Caramel sauce. This is one from Trader Joe's. You can really use any caramel sauce probably and it'll taste the same. But um, I got this when I was there. And I'm just going to trickle it like along the sides. And because it's cold, it's really hard to do it. Because the, the caramel is already like so hard. But actually it's totally okay. It's going to go like this. And then in the cup... Right here. Ooh, this is gonna be hard to do. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. I'm gonna just do it and then show you guys. Oh, I have an assistant. So, I just get it like this, and I just run it along the sides. Like that, the caramel. You should have. No, because it's so hard. The back. Yeah, I should have. But. Back of the spoon. It's okay, because then when you get it in here, the rest of it, you can just mix it that's left on the spoon. So you just like put it along the sides like that. And then, we have our hot apple cider in here. And I'm just gonna go to the sink. And I'm just gonna pour it in. Ooh. Ooh. So, so delicious. This and smells then, so good. This, you can just like mix it, and then it's just gonna come off. But yeah, that's how you do it. And then I just let it sit, and then it's delicious. Yeah, I made some for myself too. Ah, uh, so good. Hey guys, I'm super ready to eat. I have some um, air fried roasted chicken with rice, and then I have my delicious apple cider right there. You guys, John said he's gonna try to try it, so we're gonna make it, and I'm gonna have a sampling. John's gonna open it up, so we can take a look and see how it is. Ooh, the packaging is so nice. Very fancy. This is like quality. Are you familiar with the name? The Kinjas? So they're like a dance group? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Wow. 
This just feels nice. Like, this is expensive. Like, this is like one of those like $5 soups that you buy at the store. <laughs> Wow, here's the noodle. Very nice. And then the two like little packs of whatever. The sauce. And then the seasonings. Alright, John. Oh, thanks, Daphne. You're welcome. You wanna up or up is this to you? for you, boo boo. What does it say on the directions? It's Move the noodles, the noodles and, and the vegetables from the packaging. Add these contents to the microwave tray. Do not add a sauce packet. Mm -hmm. But this is the vegetables in here. And yeah. it's spicy? Cool. And it's spicy. Woohoo! Oh, I hope it's good. Me too. What a great time to test it out. Well, I soda. John's our tester. What? John can't open it. There's no... Alright. Wow! <laughs> that was a lot of luster. Okay. Can't wait. Now I'm gonna put water in and stuff. Alright, we'll be back. So John just took it out of the microwave. It, it looks like it exploded. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now what do you do? You cover it back up? Mm-hmm. And then you have to drain it through the hole. Oh. Is that all that stuff gonna come out? I don't know. We'll see. Excuse the sink. <laughs> it's hot. All the green stuff's coming out. See your green stuff. <laughs> all your veggies. <laughs> you don't eat veggies. You don't eat veggies in this house. <laughs> you speak for yourself. <laughs> I eat just kidding. John's not kidding. He doesn't eat veggies. Yeah, I do. He doesn't eat very many. That's true. That's a better statement. Wow. Okay, so what's the next step? Final step. The next step is to Add steal Yasmin's Ferrero Rocher. I'm about to eat some chocolate. Add the sauce that has. Everyone, watch Yasmin dance. Everyone still saw. I have the sickest dance moves. It's very liquidy. I mean, it is sauce. Yeah, but it's not like thick. So that's it? That's it, and then you mix it. This looks nothing like the photo. <laughs> Where's the mushroom? Where's the garnish? Did you want asparagus? Not right now, thank you. Wait. I'm going to eat this noodle. But I also wanted to eat some noodles. What if so. it's super good? Then can I make one for my own? Yeah. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah, I put it in the mic in the fridge oh, right now. There's a mushroom. Oh, is that a mushroom? The little slices, no. Oh, oh, they look like little slivers. They're like little shiitake. Little shiitakes. slivers of mushrooms. All right, John. John, take the first taste. It's not even mixed. John, mix it up. If I heat up all this asparagus, will you eat some of it? Just heat it all up, Dr. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> I like how you never say our names correctly. I just said her name was Yasmin. That's how you say it. That's not how everybody says it. I've been saying it longer before anyone that you know. So I know the, per the correct pronunciation. Well, I'll chicken. Yasmin thinks her name is pronounced differently. How do you pronounce think, it? Because it's not a British accent. If I How do you say your name? If I had a British accent, I'd be Yasmin. Yeah, that's not good. That was a really bad British accent. How do I say my name? Yasmin. No one says it like that. Everybody says it like that. I say it the way mom and dad say it, and they're the ones that named you. That's true. I don't know why I always thought my name was Yasmin well, you then. Why call me Jan? That's because that's how it's pronounced, Jan. I'm just so scared. Don't show dad this video. <laughs> <laughs> Yasmin's eating all the skin, dad. Dad's watching. I know. Yasmin's only eating chicken skin and that's it. I love chicken skin. Alright, John. Why is there no skin on this chicken? 
<laughs> you already ate it all. No, I how didn't. is it, John? I'm like, John's like, I'm like, how is it? How is it? How is it? Is it good, huh? Is it good? 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 How is it? It's so aggressive. Kind of spicy. Mm hmm. That one bite, like, finished all of it. I like it. You do? Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10. John's a very severe critic. 6.5. Wow, that was lower than I thought you would say. To a 7. Wait, I didn't try it yet, so I wouldn't know. It's good, though. All right, I'm going to try it now. Okay. I just tasted it. Whoa, my forehead is so shiny. Look at me, my shiny forehead. Can you guys see your reflection in it? Um, I think I have to try it again. It's all right. I just don't really like noodles like this. Like the art soupy. If it's not soupy. I normally don't like it. So, but it's okay. I agree with John. It's like a six point five, not a seven or an eight. Wait, I want to try it too. Should I use a new fork? What are you eating? Chicken. Drama. All right, Yasmin's gonna eat it. So dainty. This is good. It's okay, but I prefer a soup. Me too, but I was expecting just to try noodles. I always get confused when you like noodles, you make like those soups like that and you take out the water. Like that other soup that we had that one time. And I didn't know you took out the water and I made it into a soup and then you said, you're supposed to take out the water. And I was like, this is a soup. <laughs> Tell <a> story, bro. <laughs> like a 7 out of 10. I, I give it a 7 out of 10. Wow. Yeah. Stop copying John. <laughs> Maybe an 8 out of 10. Wow. Ooh, wow. Seven she liked it. 10. Actually, I do like it. I want to keep eating more. Okay. Can I have some more? Ask John. It's not mine. John, can I have some? I can have Hey, guys. Right now, I want to clean this bladder cover thing. It has a lot of, like, darkening and, like, oily stuff on it. So I'm going to try the pink stuff on it and see how that works. Hey guys, this is how it's looking so far. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to stop here because I'm kind of tired. My hands tired from scrubbing and then I'll just like do it again next time. But yeah, that's how it's looking. Hey guys, it's a little while later. I'm hot. Um, I am still cleaning the kitchen. I have the burning grill, grits, whatever. I don't, what are these called? Whatever those are called. They're there. I sprayed um, my Mr. Clean Deep Cleaning Mist on them. So fantastic. I love it so much. The oil is already dripping off of them. And I sprayed this really well too. Mom did a lot of cl uh, cooking this weekend. So this little area gets nice and oily. So I want to just like clean everything um, and get all that stuff off that this week it'll be nice and clean for all of this week's festivities. Ooh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be Christmas. I'm gonna let this percolate over there. Um, I'm pretty much done cleaning the kitchen. I just need to put a couple things away. I need to finish cleaning the countertops. Um, I'm gonna fix up the pillows and then clean up the, clean up the table as well over there. All right, we are pretty much done cleaning up. The fixing up the pillows um <laughs> the presents are so looking like so intense <laughs> like literally no no presents fit under the tree <laughs> they're like literally all just like piled up right there um but that's okay a lot of these presents are gonna go to once we're able to finally send them out or like drop them off over here mom has been busy as well because um she made some more bread for some more of our other neighbors and they were gonna get dropped well they tried to drop them off today unfortunately they were not home so we'll try again tomorrow the, the stove is nice and clean so excited uh love it um dishwasher's on gotta bring these rags upstairs and pretty much all cleaned up all right, you guys, I finally finished cleaning up the kitchen and getting everything out there cleaned up. 
and ready for tomorrow, which is just another day, but I mean, who doesn't want to start off the day with a nice, clean house, right? Like, I feel like just knowing that it's clean when you go to sleep and then waking up and then seeing how clean it is, it's just like, ah, uh, just makes you happy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting today when we were out um, for our last minute Christmas shopping. So, I mean, it's nothing really too exciting. Um, I just got another one of these. Um, I actually got one. I have this t-shirt already, but I got one for, like, it's like an extra, extra large, but I just bought it. It's like literally the largest size. But, um, I don't know, I thought I was going to give it maybe to, like, my sister or... John, they could just wear it as pajamas, or if anything, just for myself to wear like that. Because, I don't know, I just really like this print. Like, the shirt is just so cute. I don't know if you guys, like, follow TikTok, but apparently that shirt went viral. And it went viral if I didn't even know it when I got the shirt. I just thought it was really cute, because I love um, My Hero Academia. That's a really great anime. And I also, like, love Sanrio. So Sanrio is awesome. My Hero Academia is awesome. They did like this little collaboration and yeah, it's awesomeness all around. So very happy about that. Um, I did also pick up like some shorts for myself. I got like these. They were all on sale too. and They're like these cargo golf shorts. Not that I play golf or anything, but I got that. Um, I picked up a couple pairs of like sweats and stuff. To give to my dad for Christmas. Uh, oh, I did pick up some dry shampoo. <gasps> Ugh, I miss my dry shampoo so much. Batiste is the best one. Though I have been using, um, I got like a little travel spray. Uh, I forget the brand, but uh, it's my bathroom. It's actually pretty good too. I actually kind of like it. So if I ever see that one again, I'll probably pick it up if I see it at the Goodwill. But Batiste is still. Uh, my favorite, I think. But that one is a close second. But I only like this, the original Batiste. I don't know if you guys have ever tried dry shampoo or anything like that. But the original one is the best one. I feel like all the other ones are just not as good for some reason, whatever the formula is. It's just not the bee's knees. So I did not really like them too much. Uh, then I also did get this because I, I follow an account on Instagram called... I think it's Target... What is it called? Target something. It's not Target Does It Again or Target Style. It's Target... Tar Target Hauler. Yes, that's what it is. They posted um, a TikTok that they made on Instagram about this gift wrapping cutter. And I am super excited to try it out because... I mean, like, scissors are great, but, like, this is even better. Plus, um... This kind of doubles as, like, something to, like, hold together your gift wrapping too so i don't know it's fantastic uh can't wait to try it out plus it'll always make those like super straight cuts when you're cutting like you can accomplish that with scissors but it's like a little bit harder obviously and this is this is i don't know it just seems really fantastic and i can't wait to actually try it out so i'll let you guys know plus i do just like love wrapping a lot of gifts so it's like something that i'm going to be using all the time um this is my receipt so just put that there. Uh, yeah, I got another pair of sweats for my dad. These are like in a darkish blue. Then I also got some just like all black ones as well. And they were all Goodfellow. If you guys go to Target right now, I think all of the Goodfellow stuff for like uh, pajamas or nightwear. But I don't know if it's everything. But um, it's 30% off. So that was a... Pretty good deal on those. I do like good fellow products. And then I bought um, just some more shorts for myself. I got them in this blue. And then I got them in this like gray as well. So pretty excited. Have some new shorts. I like P.S. I just love wearing shorts. I rarely ever wear pants. I try like to avoid it. I don't know why. Um, I don't know what happened. Like, <laughs> I just like started just like loving to wear shorts all the time. I used to never wear shorts. I used to, like, and I don't know. I used to hate shorts. Now I love them. I don't know. 
everything's crazy. Oh, and the last thing I got from Target is this Super Mario game. I'm so happy that I found it. I really wanted to get this for the kids, and I know they really wanted it. Uh, so this is gonna be a great little surprise for them. Uh, luck like, luckily, like, apparently, I don't know if, like, all the stores just got a last-minute shipment of them in. Best Buy by my house has a bunch of them. And I, like, was on the Best Buy website, and, like, all of the surrounding stores near me and around me also had these. And, um, some people reached out to me, too, and told me that they had them at, like, their local Walmart and Target. So they're popping up everywhere. And then I went to Target, and I saw one of these bad boys over there, too. So, uh, yeah. I guess they're, like, getting them back in again. And then if you guys are looking for the Luigi ones, apparently the Luigi ones are coming out right after Christmas. Um, I don't know if they were out before or if they're not just coming out until, like, after Christmas. So, there's, uh, I got that for them. And this is kind of going to be, like, a group present because something they can all kind of play with. And, yeah, so I think that'll be fantastic. That's, like, their big present of the uh day oh my gosh i just have like receipts everywhere um then i also did get uh when i was at best buy i picked up some of these itunes gift cards oh, there's these. I, I thought i was missing one so i got three of these for the boys as well just got them like ten dollars just in case like they, sometimes they want to buy like those little games and stuff in, from the Apple iTunes store or whatever and that way they can like buy them if they wanted so that's fantastic they always are excited for those and I did also get those Roblox ones I got like a $10 Roblox thing for them to or it's Minecraft not Roblox Minecraft I got them little $10 Minecraft things too which unfortunately is all digital and I have to remember to print them all out and I can put them inside the little cards so that they have, like, the access number. And they don't actually give the cards anywhere. Like, before, you got you got to keep the card and, like, the numbers on the card and everything. I guess they don't do that anymore or if they just did it this Christmas. Um, but, yeah. But the iTunes ones are still physical gift cards. So that's pretty nice. A gift card for everything Apple. Love it. Uh, then, after that, I did go to Dick's Sporting Goods and I got uh I got everyone the Yeti lids with straws for their cups because yeah last year I got everyone um Yeti cups for Christmas and this year I'm upgrading all their cups with lids. I ordered I ordered the handles already I told you guys on Amazon and those are hopefully gonna come I think not tomorrow, because tomorrow's the 22nd. I think they said on the 23rd. Um, then, I thrifted a Hydro Flask recently, and I'm super excited about it. Uh, but I also wanted to get, like, a straw thing for it, because I really don't enjoy unscrewing the cap <laughs> and opening it to drink it. Um, so this is going to be fantastic. I got this. Then, I also did thrift um, two purple Hydro Flasks. And Zach's favorite color is purple right now, like a dark royal purple. Like, he calls it, like, galaxy purple. I think it's, like, he just associates it with, like, that purple in, like, space things. And my sister's actually um, customizing it. She's painting something on it. It's going to be super duper cute. And I'll show you guys when she paints it and see how it turns out. But um, that one also has, like, the twist top, and that's, like, not the best for... Um, an eight-year-old so I got him the sports cap for it so this will be great and then he can just like pop it open and drink from it and that'll be awesome plus they go on a lot of like walks um, like every day usually my sister will take them for a walk around the neighborhood and uh, they always want to bring their like cups and the Yeti cup is just really big and Zach's hands are tiny Luckily, the Hydro Flask is like a thinner cup, but this one also has this little dangly thing, so you can hold it on there. So I think that's going to be awesome. And, oh, I also got this for my Hydro Flask. I got a Flex Boot. So you put this on the bottom of the thing, of the Hydro Flask, so that, like, it'll just sit, like, in the little plastic. So, um, I don't know, just to, like, customize it and... 
my thing is metal and I just don't want it to like scratch or like, I don't know. It's, it's, I honestly just wanted something yellow on it because yellow is my favorite color, to be honest. And yeah, so I got this guy. Um, ah, everything's falling. And that is pretty much it. I think that's all that I got today when I went out. Um, I did also go to the Veterans Thrift, but you're going to have to check that out in a separate video. I found some amazing stuff. Like, I, I was so happy that I went because I was like, ooh, should I go? And I was like, yeah, we're already going to go because I'm going to be at that Target right down the street from it. So I decided to just jump, like hop in really quick and luckily like I found some great stuff so that video will be going up later on this week so don't forget to hit that little bell button so you're notified when videos do go up and I am posting all the different videos every day at 7 a.m. the vlogmas episodes like the one you're watching right now goes up at 11 a.m. every day and I'm gonna be doing these videos for the rest of the month and I think I'm gonna be carrying it over into the new year and just try to do it I like, try to do the two videos as like often as I can because I really am enjoying it and it's really giving me something to do during quarantine. So that's fun. So if you guys have any video ideas, let me know. I'm trying to brainstorm a lot of new stuff as well. And hopefully this year I'm going to be able to accomplish it. I don't know, like every year I'm like, I'm just going to do all this stuff. And then I feel like I just get so busy doing all these other things that I just kind of just like, ugh. Um, but... Yeah, I also did want to do a thrifted presents video um, for like what I got everyone um, that I got from the thrift store. So I, I, I might try to film it tonight or tomorrow, but I'm 100% certain if I'm even going to film it. Maybe I'll just like film. I'm definitely going to be filming Christmas Day when everyone opens stuff and then I can let you know if it's thrifted. But yeah, um, but definitely comment down below and let me know your thoughts on that. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out. Hope you guys had fun today. It was a very busy day. Tomorrow is going to be busy as well. Um, in the morning, I'm probably going to be like dry, trying to wrap up all the last minute gifts. And then later on in the day, I'm going to be getting ready for Cade's birthday, which is going to be the day after his birthday is on Wednesday. So when you guys see this video, when you guys see this video, the day after this video is going to be Cade's birthday. So, um, we planned, like, making, like, this balloon arch, and it was gonna be fun and fantastic, and I don't know why we're making a balloon arch, like, we just all had it in our heads that we want to make a balloon arch, and I think it's gonna be super fun, plus the photos, plus, um, we were like, let's also save it in the garage afterwards, and then, like, save it until Eliza's birthday, which is a few weeks later, and then we'll just add a couple different colored balloons, probably blue ones, because that's Eliza's favorite color, and then we'll be like, ooh, look, and it's another balloon arch, but then it'll really be the same one, but then add a couple more things to it, and then, like, we got, we'll get to reuse it, and then, like, maybe save it. <laughs> like, I don't even know how long it's going to, like, like um, last for. Hopefully it'll last until Eliza's birthday. But, like, literally, like, everyone's birthdays are, like, all crammed in the beginning of the year, and like, uh, it's just like, uh, it's a very busy time. So anyway, hope you guys have fun. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, bye.